OneSearch is a powerful tool that allows you to search most of the library's resources at one time. When you do a search in OneSearch, you simultaneously search our library catalog, which holds items that we own, including books, ebooks, DVDs, audiobooks, and more, and searches nearly half of our 218 article databases. When you search in OneSearch, you will need to make sure you pick out the most important words of your research question. I suggest that you start broad because you can always add in keywords and refine your results, but if you do a really specific search to begin with, you might miss results that could have been useful to you. Let's jump in and try a search. I want to know if there have been issues with Walmart and the wages they give their employees, maybe more specifically about their position on paying minimum wage. First, let's type in Walmart and hit search. If you are off campus, you will be required to log in at this point with your JAGSpace credentials if you're a UHV student or your Pirate Portal login if you're a Victoria College student. Starting broad is useful because many times you will get a research starter on the top of your results. I like to describe this as a glorified Wikipedia article because it gives you a summary of a topic, idea, or event. You can use this research starter to get a Wikipedia-like overview, but you can know it's scholarly. We'll go back to our results page. And we can see all the different types of sources we pulled up with the icon next to them. So we have an ebook, a regular book, video recording, periodical, and more. Let's see what happens when we add wages to our keyword search. Our search results went from around 420,000 to about 8,000 results. That's a big jump, but nearly 8,000 is still a lot. At this point, you can look to the left side of the page to see our limiting options. You can limit your search to just scholarly peer-reviewed journals or just the library catalog. Let's limit our search to just scholarly articles. Now we only have 220 run results. There are other limiting options like by publication date, resource type, language, and subject. You can explore those if they would be useful in your search. All right, so let's say we're looking through the results and the first one looks interesting. We can click on the title and it will bring us to the full text of the article if we have it. If not, it will bring you to the record where you can find more information about the article. If we want to see more detailed information about the article, you can click on detailed record. In the middle here, you will see more information about the source. Two important things are the subject terms and the abstract. The subject terms can help you think of other keywords you might want to add to your search. And then the abstract is also important because it can help you determine if you want to put the time in to read this particular scholarly article. Abstracts are short summaries of articles that include the main points and the conclusions that the authors reached. On the right, there are multiple tools that can help you save and cite the article. You can print the article, email it to yourself, and save the permalink. If you like to save links, do not grab the URL from the top of the page. That is a session-based link and it will expire within 10 to 15 minutes. Always use this permalink if you want to get back to the article again later. Remember that if you get stuck during searching, you can always contact the library for help.